NASA making a historic announcement today that the Voyager probe has entered interstellar space, that place between the stars. It's now out. Recently, something very strange has been happening with Voyager 1. Ever since the probe crossed the boundaries of our solar system into interstellar space, NASA has been receiving abnormal signals from it. That's not all. NASA's Deep Space Network also recently collected some disturbing data from the probe, some of which seem like secret codes from extraterrestrials. NASA is now worried that something or someone may have tempered with the Voyager probe. What kind of message or signals is the Voyager sending to NASA? Are aliens involved? If yes, what does this mean for the fate of the Voyager and humans at large? Join us in this video as Voyager has sent back warning data to Earth. After 45 years in deep space, it has always been an innate desire of humankind to explore the cosmos, see the unknown, and learn the deepest, darkest secrets of our existence. And although we still yearn for a day when we can zap through space or travel across galaxies in supersonic spacecraft, we have come a long way. From early telescopes that barely gave us a glimpse of our solar system to groundbreaking spacecraft like the International Space Station, space exploration has evolved impressively over the years. About a century ago, we barely knew all the planets in our solar system. But now, we not only know everything about our solar system, but also know so much about the vast cosmic wonderland beyond our star system. Asteroids, black holes, galaxies, and every other thing that constitutes our cosmic universe have all been revealed, thanks to the never-ending labors of brilliant scientists. It has been one discovery after another, especially since the invention of top-tier tech like the James Webb. It is inarguably true that James Webb has taken the spotlight as our best cosmic telescope. But then, there's one other space instrument that takes the medal of being the best cosmic probe, Voyager. Launched from Cape Canaveral on September 5, 1977, two weeks after his identical twin Voyager 2, Voyager 1 embarked on a mega mission. Voyager 1 and 2 were made to study Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and their respective moons. However, soon after its launch, the second Voyager probe overtook the first, earning the title of Voyager 1. Initially, they moved in the same path to meet the outer planets, but after they had swung through Saturn in 1980 and 1981, they diverged onto different trajectories. Voyager 1 maintained the lead, while Voyager 2 lagged. Voyager 1 is the longest working probe ever. Initially, what was designed to only last about five years has ended up lasting for over 45 years in space. When NASA built this space machine, they never knew what to expect. And so, they took every precautionary measure in the books and did everything possible to give the Voyager an edge against the harsh radiative environment in space. NASA made sure to equip Voyagers with state-of-the-art instruments. Little did they know that they were applying technology well beyond their time. In the end, the Voyager ended up becoming a space marvel. You may be wondering what particular instruments NASA employed in the Voyager 1. They include television cameras, ultraviolet and infrared sensors, plasma detectors, magnetometers, cosmic ray detectors and charged particle sensors. So many instruments of Voyager 1 had to be turned off to save power. Thanks to this, the probe is expected to stay active till at least 2025. One such instrument was the camera. The last camera photo that Voyager 1 took was in February 1990, when it was 3.7 billion miles from the Sun. It was a picture of the Earth from that distance, revealing how small our Earth looked compared to the vastness of space. The photo was just as intriguing as it was beautiful. This image from Voyager 1 revealed to us that our planet is nothing but a tiny speck in the vast cosmic wonderland of the Milky Way galaxy. This famous picture has since been renamed the Pale Blue Dot. One of the most exciting facts about Voyager 1 is that it was made as some sort of time capsule. In other words, Voyager was loaded with music, pictures and other information about its time. 
NASA compiled all this and launched it into space to serve as an information box for whoever or whatever might discover the disk. Note that the music, pictures and everything else are all from the 1970s. If the Voyager 1 were a 21st century craft, it would probably hold some pop and rap music as well as every other current information of today's world. But then, the idea wasn't to display the most current facts or details to the unseen recipient. Rather, NASA just hoped to give the aliens or advanced civilizations an idea of what life on Earth was like. Also, there was no guarantee that aliens would encounter the space vessels. In fact, back then, there was no proof of alien existence. The only thing that would have made scientists suspect the existence of aliens in outer space was the regular UFO and UAP sightings. In case you're wondering how NASA created this mystery data disk, it was all thanks to astronomers Carl Sagan and Frank Drake. Carl Sagan, born November 9, 1934, was an astronomer and science communicator who believed strongly in the existence of extraterrestrial life. Most of his research centered around this belief, and he even lectured several times on communication with extraterrestrials. You see, it wasn't just about sending some random information to space. Scientists at NASA had no idea if extraterrestrials existed or what language they spoke. And so, great care had to be taken to ensure that whatever message was getting out was easy to understand, regardless of what language the aliens spoke. Sagan and Drake had some prior experience sending this kind of anonymous message into space. While launching the Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 spacecraft, they helped create some gold anodized aluminum plaques attached to these vessels. These blocks had images of nude men and women to serve as typical specimens of what our species looked like. Sagan was the main brain behind the drawing, while Frank Drake mainly helped with the designs and assembling of the plaques the first physical messages humanity sent into space. Frank Donald Drake was an astrophysicist and microbiologist who became the father of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. One of his most phenomenal achievements is the Drake Equation, an equation that tries to quantify the number of aliens that are probably out there in the cosmos. Drake's work with Carl Sagan to design the Pioneer plaque was crucial. The plaque measured 9 inches in width and 6 inches in height, with a thickness of 0.05 inches. Drake was also part of the team that developed the Voyager Golden Plate records. It is important to note that these messages were specially crafted so that they were universal or easy to understand. The Pioneer 10, for instance, featured a man waving with a woman standing by his side, alongside several other symbols that provided basic information about us. Just so you know, the Pioneer 10 and 11 were the first man-made objects to reach escape velocity from the solar system. The plaques were strategically lodged into the spacecraft's antenna support struts. This way, they would get shielded from erosion by interstellar dust. However, the golden records on Voyager 1 would be a viable improvement. Instead of just drawings, NASA packed comprehensive data into these two disks. Artist John Lomberg and Ferris a renowned science journalist who doubled as Sagan's friend, also contributed to the data compilation of the disks. If extraterrestrials did encounter the Voyager, the disks would serve as time capsules to tell information about life on Earth. Given that Voyager 1 was destined for the far corners of our solar system, it had a better chance of encountering extraterrestrials. For this reason, the experts at NASA were careful while deciding which photos or songs to include. Whatever they included in the Voyager disk would largely determine how the extraterrestrials would perceive us. And so, the experts made sure to weed out any information that aliens might I interpret incorrectly. Things like war or depictions of violence were left out, even though war and violence are part of basic human nature. It was believed that depictions of violence could be offensive to alien species, even when it was just meant to inform them. The team of experts also steered clear of controversial things like politics and religion. And so, at the end of the day, when they finished the Golden Recorder, it had 90 minutes of music, 115 analogue encoded images, greetings in 55 different languages, 
and a 12-minute montage of Earth sounds. It was a nice and noble thing to do, to deliver this message-filled disk into aliens in space. However, none of that would be possible I without the outstanding vessel that carried the disk into the unknown. The Voyager's outstanding tenacity has marveled scientists and the world at large, especially in the case of Voyager 1, which is the first probe to ever cross into interstellar space. This probe survived through the terrible radiation at the edge of our solar system. It is now drifting across interstellar space despite cosmic rays and all sorts of unknown entities that bombard it. In case you're wondering how NASA manages to stay in contact with Voyager probes, it's all thanks to its Deep Space Network. The Deep Space Network, also called DSN, is a network of American spacecraft communication ground facilities. It basically involves an army of telescopes and other observatory equipment in special bases working together to support or monitor NASA interplanetary spacecraft missions. The bases are located in California, Madrid and Canberra. The network can also perform radio and radar astronomy observations to allow scientists to explore the solar system and the universe while also supporting certain Earth orbiting missions. NASA has confirmed that as it is, Voyager 1 will continue to operate until the year 2030 when its plutonium 238 thermoelectric power generator will fail. What this means is that nothing can take down this space probe and it's only going to shut down due to dead batteries. But then, there's another speculation within the scientific community, another possibility that can befall Voyager 1. It is the possibility of an alien encounter. What if intelligent aliens were to intercept the probe and access its data, alter its course, or even shut it down? As unbelievable as this may sound, it's very likely to happen. In fact, there are rumours that it has happened already. You see, Voyager 1's recent behaviours have made some members of the scientific community speculate that it may have encountered extraterrestrials already. Recently, Voyager 1 has been sending strange signals back to us here on Earth. NASA is still attempting to figure out why its precious space probe is beaming back an odd message. So far, the agency has made no headway in decoding what this strange message means. The strange message is an erroneous sequence of numbers, such as rows of zeros and one S. At first, scientists thought something was wrong with the probe's antenna. However, later, they confirmed that the antenna was okay and still pointing toward Earth. Just so you know, it is important for Voyager's high-gain antenna to stay pointed to Earth, or else it would be unable to send back data. Since the probes were pointing towards Earth, members of NASA's Voyager 1 mission crew were very baffled as to what was going on with this probe. Suzanne Dodd, who is the project manager and began working on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft 38 years ago, is among the many experts trying to crack the situation. According to Dodd, a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We're also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. Dodd's words were a clear indication that the Voyager was probably malfunctioning. Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in 2012 and has been navigating through the harsh world of outer space ever since. Because it's an old space probe navigating through a dangerous environment that no probe has entered before, there's a high risk. On the one hand, NASA scientists are hoping Voyager 1 will travel even further into space so they can learn more about outer space and everything in it. On the other hand, they are afraid to lose this probe after it has come so far. Voyager 1 has been travelling through space at about 17 kilometres per second, equating to around 3.6 Earth-Sun distances each year. At its current distance of 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, there's no way to reach it for a checkup. In fact, it's even a miracle that the probe is still sending and receiving signals. And so, you can imagine how disturbed experts at NASA were when they suddenly found the Voyager probe sending misleading signals. No one could tell if it was an electrical issue with the spacecraft's circuitry or something worse. 
What was even fascinating was that the Voyager didn't activate any alarms or fault systems. And so, all of this begs the question, what exactly went wrong with the Voyager? Well, it turns out it was a system issue after all. NASA gave an official statement that the weird signal glitch was all due to the Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS. This system is responsible for keeping Voyager 1 and its antenna in the proper orientation. This computer system is one of three on the Voyager spacecraft. Its role is mainly managing Voyager 1's orientation and thrusters. It is also tasked with keeping the Voyager's high-gain antenna pointed toward Earth so that any data about the interstellar medium keeps getting to us on Earth. Considering the fact that Voyager 1 is still receiving commands, acting them out and sending back data, NASA assumes that the AACS is working just fine. Voyager 1's signal strength hasn't dwindled and neither has it triggered any alarm to indicate a fault in the system. Nevertheless, the AACS keeps sending back junk telemetry data. Previously, NASA had assumed that the Voyager 1's outdated equipment would be capable of looking after itself, but it seems they were wrong after all. Many experts suggest that the probe's old age may be responsible for the AACS problem and weird signals. But there's another group of experts who view things differently. This group believes that the Voyager must have encountered something in space that made it send these weird signals. This notion was based on two main reasons. One reason is the fact that aliens in space have always been a possibility. That's why we even put in the golden disks in the Voyager spacecraft to begin with. And so, what if those aliens were responsible for messing with the Voyager's AACS system? Or even worse, what if these aliens have taken over the Voyager 1 and are now using it to transmit their own message? To begin with, NASA never mentioned how it deciphered that the AACS was the issue. Also, they didn't say how or when exactly the system issues began, at least not until the barrage of weird messages started coming in. As such, some skeptics feel that the AACS may not even be the issue. Some believe the AACS is just a cover-up by NASA and that Voyager 1 has, in fact, met extraterrestrials. Now, there's no way to prove all of this, as it is mere speculation. But if it actually turns out to be true, you can't help but ponder some critical questions. What are the aliens trying to tell us? And what did they do to our dear old space probe? Experts at NASA want to believe everything is fine since the Voyager was built to be very autonomous. But many are afraid that something very serious may have been altered in Voyager 1, which explains why it keeps speaking in a strange language that we can't comprehend. Perhaps another intelligent form of life may be utilizing the Voyager to communicate back to us in their language. Unless experts can somehow decode the message or signals being sent, there's no way to know for sure what's true and what isn't. You may ask, how are these beings interacting with the Voyager? One theory is that they may have learned our language and how to operate the Voyager spacecraft. Remember, there's a general notion that aliens and extraterrestrials are far more advanced in technology than we are. If that is the case, reprogramming an instrument like the Voyager would not be a problem. And so aliens may have received our message and are trying to send us one back. Other strange things have been occurring recently with Voyager 1, like the strange monotonous humming sounds that were heard some time ago. This noise first started when Voyager 1 crossed fully out of the hemisphere and into interstellar space. Some experts assumed it was due to the constant vibrations of small amounts of gas found in interstellar space. However, some other experts suggest something more sinister may be at play. Again, the Allen Telescope Array, a recently refurbished radio observatory near San Francisco, also detected a signal from Voyager 1 on July 9th. The telescope recorded about 15 minutes of data, which was saved. There's no telling what this data meant, as it was mostly junk. Imagine receiving strange sequences like the number 377 from a probe lost in space. It clearly does not make any sense. But then, this number looks too precise to be a coincidence or a mistake. 
If it is a code like many skeptics and conspiracy theorists believe, then it may take a while before NASA decodes it. For now, we don't understand what is causing the telemetry data from Voyager to be jumbled up. There's no way to take a peek to see what's going on out there since Voyager 1's cameras and other heavy instruments were turned off. Trying to diagnose the problem from down here on Earth isn't going to be easy for NASA. The short timeline of Voyager 1 means the agency has to race against the clock. Moreover, most of the individuals who conceptualized the circuitry and designed Voyager 1 are either retired or dead. So, you see, it won't be an easy thing to troubleshoot Voyager 1. In fact, we may never be able to resolve these telemetry issues. At best, we could find a way to work around it or simply focus on salvaging as much data from Voyager 1 as possible before it gives up the ghost. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.